Uh, Fossil Hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ash Bigail here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures and photographer and co-author of A Beachcomber's Guide to Fossils. I've got another fantastic family that came out on our custom private adventure. We just spent six hours collecting all of these incredible fossils and we're about to go through what each category is. Uh, so we're going to start first here with Sydney's. We've got a piece of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell. Um, before we launch into the rest, I will note that most of these are 24 to 30 million years old. I'll point out the younger ones from the ice age as we get to them. So we have this extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell, a fossilized scallop, your stein kerns are the internal casts of clam and snail shells, fossilized coral right here, your marine mammal bone from whales and dolphins, shark vertebrae, and a couple of billfish bones from the tails and the dorsal fins, not to be confused with any of our stingray fossils. Over here, Sydney got all four types of our stingray teeth from the bat ray, eagle ray, cow nose ray, and devil ray. Up here are her Ice Age fossils, a chunk of antler from a white-tailed deer that lived here 11,000 to two and a half million years ago, and a little section of pond or box turtle shell. All right, inner shark teeth. The big ones are right up here. We have the angustidans, or those precursors to megalodon, 24 to 30 million year old ancestors. Wonderful little posterior tooth right here as well. Right down here are the mako shark teeth. Two different types of extinct tiger sharks here, long tooth tiger and precursors to the modern tiger shark. Your snaggle tooth shark teeth in this pile with those curved serrated upper teeth and long pointed lower teeth Think of that as a fork and knife pairing, what we call a cutting and clutching dentition. Three sand tiger shark teeth right there. And one of the largest tooth categories will be the reef sharks. 35 species are encompassed in this single category. Things from your black tip and white tip, dusky, bull, silky, copper, and sandbar sharks, just to name a few. Right up here, thresher shark teeth with those big long whip-like tails and managed to get one small hammerhead shark tooth in there. So nicely done, Sydney. We're going to move on over here to Charlie's. Charlie's got a section of a cervical or a neck vertebra from a dolphin. Some more fossilized scallop shells two shark vertebrae, and two little fossilized coral. This category has all of your clam and snail stein kerns, three pieces of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell from a genus called Carolina Keeleys. Down here are your marine mammal, whale and dolphin bones, along with your billfish fin ray bones, and you got two of uh, our ray categories, eagle ray and cow nose ray teeth. Over here in your shark teeth, we'll start with your reef sharks. Above them are the snaggle tooth shark teeth. Some excellent specimens in there. Right on over here, a very nice extinct great white shark tooth. At minimum, you're looking at about a five million year old tooth. That one from the upper jaw. Over here are your two categories of extinct tiger shark teeth. A very nice hooked mako shark tooth there. A lemon shark tooth. Two sand tiger shark teeth. And look at those beautiful angustidans wonderful colors on that big half right there 
and some excellent cusplets on this little lateral upper tooth. Wonderful finds, Charlie. All right, we're going to curve around the table now and get into Missy's finds. So, Missy has a little section of a ghost shrimp burrow where the shrimp dug his tunnel and then the tunnel was preserved with sediment. Also a nice collection of the stein kerns, some nice snail ones in there and four pieces of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shell. Your shark vertebrae right here. One still stuck in the limestone and one in the limestone from the Angustidans shark. Solitary coral fossils and a couple pieces of fossilized bryozoan, which is a relative of coral. Down here are your marine mammal bones from whales and dolphins. A small section of a fish vertebra and some fin ray bones here from billfish and tuna. In your stingrays, you got three of our four sets. So the cow nose, devil ray, and the eagle ray along with two little stingray spines, or stingers, right there. In your shark teeth, we've got the reef sharks right there. Your extinct tiger sharks. You got one that no one else did. This one is a giant thresher shark from the Miocene. So you're looking at about a 10 million year old tooth right there your snaggle tooth shark teeth. Excellent detail on a couple of these. Over here, the mako sharks. One lemon shark tooth, one hammerhead shark tooth, and two of our thresher sharks from these smaller species still around today. Right up there, an upper tooth from a member of the Great White lineage. Unfortunately, this one's a little too waterworn to tell which species it is. And then up top, you've got a section of a tile fish dorsal spine. It has these little weird dots that run down the edge of it and lines on that side that kind of help identify that one. You also have a fossilized twig right there. This one's pretty cool. You can see there's rock on the inside and a thin black shell of bone on the outside. That would be because that bone was hollow, signifying you have a fossilized bird bone right there. That's awesome. Down here, a couple of really nice dolphin teeth, including that one there on the right from a type of urinodelphinid with these big wrinkly spade-shaped teeth. Over here are all of your coprolites. These are going to be the fossilized poop from the insides of sharks that died and the intestines held all of that poop together long enough to fossilize. One of your coolest finds is this tooth from the giant killer dolphin Ankyloriza tiedmani, discovered and named here right in Charleston. Awesome tooth there. Another one from the extinct false mako shark that lived here in the Oligocene, Peritotus spa. It's not a Benedini, but it predates that species. That is a good score. Lastly, a couple of barracuda teeth right there and a wahoo tooth there. All right, and lastly, we're going to get into Tommy's. We've got a very large fish vertebra there. It's been infilled with phosphate, which is why you can't see the articular surface. One snail steinkern, a section of a fish jawbone, these are your billfish and tuna fin ray bones, fossilized coral, 
whale and dolphin bones. In your rays, you have three of our four types, the eagle ray, cow nose ray, and a series of three bat ray teeth right there, meaning that this set of teeth came from a dead stingray, a bat ray in particular. And lastly, a really nice stingray spine or stinger. Over here are your reef shark teeth. A really nice collection there of the snaggle tooth shark teeth. Extinct tiger sharks right here. You also got a chunk of a megalodon tooth. That one between 3.6 and 15.9 million years old. Next to it, the ancestors of megalodon, the angustodons. Over here, those extinct great white shark teeth. Some nice mako shark teeth here, including a really adorable posterior tooth. We love finding those things out there on the river. Down here are your sand tiger shark teeth. You've got four lemon sharks. And lastly, two hammerhead shark teeth down there. So all in all, a great day, some excellent finds. And if you would like to book your trip with us and come join us out on the river, we've got all of that information linked in the description below, more details on the website. And that's pretty much it for this time, guys. So as always, happy hunting, collect responsibly, and we'll see you next time.